folks, this is Sheila over at Sanford on one of her walks. It's lovely misty weather for, for, for images today. I'm up at the quarry, going to walk around the quarry along the top there and then come out the other side and walk over to Dobry and Roborough. They've just put some concrete path paving in there. Anyway, this is where people come to learn to abseil and stuff. It's an activity centre, an outdoor pursuit type place. But look at that mist there in the base of the quarry. I think it's quite nice um, imagery. Yeah, I try to get here a couple of times a year. I, I don't know if I've been here in the winter or not. I can't, I can't remember, but... Please wait here, yeah. A lot of the basic, there's a platform up there. That's where you can learn to abseil down sort of a smaller area to start with and they got bigger areas. So please wait here. And if there was gonna be anyone coming now, they would be here by about 10. So I've managed, cause you're not really, don't really like you coming in here, but if you're a local, they seem to, I mean, someone like an old pensioner like me ain't going to do any harm. I ain't going to be scaling up no walls. But, uh, yeah, you do get peregrine falcons. Sometimes here, sometimes here. They like this sort of surface, so... Anyway, I'm going to take a picture of this over and out. Be back on again. Back on again. This is the quarry. i just seen a peregrine falcon. It just, I thought I saw one a minute ago circling up there. It's either that or a sparrow hawk. They're quite big. Yeah, he just took off around about there somewhere. Flew off. I've seen them before. I don't think they nest in the winter though. I suppose they shelter in these rocks. Those of you who follow me say, well, you've already done the quarry before. And I say, yeah, but I've never done it on this day. I've never done it on this day. Yeah, so. You can see where they do have a nest sometimes. There's some sort of droppings going down there. Look. See that? That's where they do nest sometimes. Not this time of year, of course. But I did see one fly off before I put the video on. Look at this great view, everyone. What I'm doing in snippets of video and then joining them up. Yeah, so what date is it today? 12th of... January. Yes, it's the 12th of January, folks, 2022. I don't think I can see anything over here. I'll just have a quick look. I get a view from the from further back as well. Hold on. Let's have a look. Oh, yeah, I don't know if people can climb up the top of there or not. Over and out for a right minute, then. let's just come up to that quartz area there. And uh, I've got bits of it at home before, but there was a bit already broken off. There, look. So I, I don't want to... It does. it was already lying on the floor. People have been chipping at it. Some people have taken quite a bit off, I think. I've got pictures of it from before. Look at that, the, the mist in the valley. And you see there, I'm just going to zoom in, see that mist and you see the cliff and then you look right over and there's a big tree. Guess what that is? Bamwell Hill Fort. Isn't it gorgeous? Bamwell Hill Fort. I've got to stop now and take a picture. That's a rare view. Hold on, I'll come back on in a minute. Right, back on again. What gorgeous. I can see Crook's Peak right over there, just emerging up high. Like I say, look at that gorgeous view of Bamwell Hill Fort. 
the Iron Age Hill Fort. It's like in a sea, isn't it? It's like an island. Which it probably was once. It's beautiful that. That's an absolutely gorgeous image. Really highlights the hill fort. Because I haven't been up on there. There might be a chance to do it while the cows are in. Yeah, not today, of course. Anyway, here I am walking around the edge of the quarry. Disused, of course, now. I mean, it could probably has still got stuff they could... they probably leave it after a while, though, so that, you know, they don't want to deplete all the resources. They might have to open it up again another time. Yeah, so I've chosen another good day. Oh, it was a week ago. There was a sunny day. And uh, they don't, they seem to come very few. I don't think the next, it might be a bit like this tomorrow. And when they say cloudy, some of the clouds fine, isn't it? You know what I mean? Look. Oh dear, I am so happy to be out. Mind you, I've been doing other things. While it's horrible weather, I really catch up on tree work and paperwork, filing, odd jobs. Um, it gives me a chance to do a bit of tidying when it's horrible weather. Time goes fast, actually, when I'm, um, oh, when I can't see. Yeah, time goes fast when I'm, when I'm busy, but I do like to get out. Oh, my, uh, yeah, my lungs don't feel so bad this last two days, but they have felt absolutely awful um, on other occasions. You can see it's frosty here, look. Frosty. We haven't had snow. I'd love to come up here when it's snowy. I'm glad I got that image before the mist disappears. And of course, right over there, I just zoom in. Got Crook's Peak. I reckon that's Crook's Peak. It doesn't look like a peak so much now. It's sort of lost its hook nose that it had. It might not be Crook's Peak, but it's something very high up, so but look at that beautiful scene. I'm so glad I captured that, folks. I was right down the bottom a minute ago. I thought I won't subject you to all my heavy breathing. They all have lots of activities in these um, open spaces as well, by the way. Uh, they've got different groups of people that come here all year round, but mainly in the better months. And um, they set things up in here. Yeah, it's really good. I have walked on the other side, by the way, but I prefer this side. But I have walked along there. This is all part of uh, a wood that leads to Churchill. At Churchill, you've got a ski, an artificial skiing slope, by the way. My daughter Jolene went there once. She had quite a good party because she went swimming, then they went skiing. Was years ago, mind. I think she was about. 10 at the time, or she could have been 12. Oh yeah, my kids have had some nice birthdays. Oh God, isn't this gorgeous though? I mean, just looking at the dew on the hanging on the plants. Do you know what I mean? Look at that. Nature. Oh dear, I just do love it so much. Yeah, sometimes I don't come up the quarry. If I'm if I've done it recently, I won't always do it every time. I will go along the track further over. I mean, the idea today is head for Dolbury Warren. I'm not climbing up the hill for it today because I want to get in the Warren, Robert Warren. So I don't always do the hill for it either. So, although there'll be great views from there today, I'm not doing that today. I think I did the hill fort twice last year, if not three times. 
But I don't think I've done this one for... I don't know, it could be a year even. I'd have to look back in the video diary. I don't, I think the last time I came, it wasn't very nice weather. This is a bonus today because the, it would have been thick mist here an hour or so ago. Just heard some people laughing. There could be groups of people coming around. They'll be sitting on my bench. Yeah, they are. People taking pictures, oh, lots of them. I was down there earlier. Look at that. Over and out a minute. Alright, I've just met some ladies, three of them, all laughing and giggling and happy. Saying they've never seen the the mist like this. They sounded local, but, but look at that. Look at it. That is so gorgeous, everyone. I'm just going to zoom right into that big tree on top of Banwell Hill Fort. I've stood under that. I've had a picnic under that tree. And there were no cows at the time. That is absolutely gorgeous. Got some good photos to share to the Somerset Photography Group today. Like I say Crook's Peak over there. Waverley Down there. Then you've got the road and you've got all the way up over that way. Um, shoot Shelf Hill. And then you, over, further over we'll have Robert Warren where I'm heading for in a minute. God, just look at this though. Isn't it gorgeous? Seat's wet. I'm not sitting on this. I just met those ladies. And uh, the mist is clearing already. So I'm really, really glad I got this image. If I'd been an hour later, the mist... I mean, a minute ago, it was really creeping up the sides of the hill for it. It's already dissipating. So I'm going to get another pin. I'm turning off a minute because I want to get another image. Right, folks, I'm going to leave this beautiful area now. So I've got quite a lot of walking to do. Absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? I'm so glad I came here when I did. As I said, the mist is already breaking up. Very subtly, but it is, compared to the first picture I took. It looks like it's a sea of mist, isn't it? A sea of mist. It's absolutely gorgeous. People are trying to drive in that as well. God, that is so lovely. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. What a lovely way to start your walk seeing views like that on the 12th of January 2022 I still have to emphasize the 22 but it's early days oh, I just feel so up. Oh, it just lifts you straight away not that I was down but basically oh it just lifts the spirit the soul the mind everything when you have views like that, God, it's so beautiful. Nature is so beautiful. And of course, like I said, it could have been an island back in a long way back when Glastonbury was. Now that would be another good one to get, Glastonbury. We might pick that up later, but the mist might be gone by then. But see, the Vale of Avalon was awash with water once. And we're due us an army, you know. They seem to turn up every four to five hundred years and we're well due one. Somebody was putting some old images on of the one that happened in the 16th century when Western, all, all the southwest coast there from down to Barrow, all the way up the Bristol Channel and the Gloucester and Welsh side were heavily flooded and like real bad. A lot of loss of life and everything. Destruction of farms. Yeah, and that would be... The mist really could be like the sea, couldn't it? Coming in along there, see? All the way up. Oh, that's so beautiful. I'm so glad that, you know, I've seen that. If I'd done the other track, I would have been covered in bushes. And um, 
I wouldn't have seen it. Like I'm now surrounded, back there you've got that open space. But there are walks all within the wood there. If I was local, I'd be wee, if I was like really local, I'd be, I'd know all my way around in there. Like I do my own woods. Of course, where we've got this lovely pathway, we, um, Well, we got this lovely pathway. Protects the feet. And given these, these old boots, because they are like slippers, but and they're, they've been well used. I'm giving them another winter of walking. I might even keep them for another year yet. I've still got another old pair I've, that I keep them as backup really. They're good for backup but they're not really any good for proper waterproof. They're supposed to have been. They didn't last waterproof long though. I think you've got to probably spend about 300 quid to get a player that really really are waterproof. When I dug out my proper waterproof coat um, it's called Extreme. It's a uh, for real bad weather and it's very waterproof um, it's a winter one but um, I should start wearing it soon and during the rainy um, sections of the winter so I've got me I've got the only reason I've got my leggings on really at the moment is protect me from the mud and the, and the coldness but I don't actually feel cold I was cold on the bus because because of Covid you have to have the windows open and uh, well they were shut I opened them all it was all misty inside I thought that's dodgy that's very dodgy with kids being going to school on the buses earlier and that I was surprised that driver hadn't gone up and opened all the windows to be quite honest it was steamed right up anyway I opened mine I opened them all there's only me and one other bloke on there, so... Yeah, I haven't seen it that steamed for a long time. Anyway, we're over here. I probably will get wet feet very soon. It'll start having to go on grass and um, muddy tracks very soon. I'll have to tuck my jeans into my socks in a minute. Even though I've got these on, the jeans could still get muddy. I've got these winter jeans on under the windshield trousers of their waterproofs. Um, they do act as insulation, that's why I wear them. I've got my, my wax jacket on, which is padded. It's, uh, I've got two thin t shirts on, well, one's thicker than the other. Um, for insulation, it's always good in many layers. I'm probably wearing more in some ways than I did when I had Alberta because I could keep spare clothes in Alberta and shoes and everything so that after the walk I could get changed right away into dry, warm clothing. But when you've got to go out all day and then spend an hour on a bus, um, you have to make extra precautions. Right, over and out.